So if you like chat GPT, um, it just got even better because uh, you can generate SVG images with it um, using HTML code. And I found this out from the OpenAI Discord. They There's just a bunch of people in there just basically figuring out what cool stuff we can do with chat GPT. And someone apparently generated the Mandelbrot set and rendered it in an SVG. I think that's so cool. I can't believe that actually works. Um, I can't believe you can even generate SVGs with it because I was, I was wondering, like there, there's got to be some way to generate images with it. And yep, there is. I mean, look at this. This guy looks like he generated an SVG image of a cat. And um, I mean, that looks, that looks really good. That looks like a really nice cat. But uh, jokes aside, that um, it is impressive that it actually, like, it gets the gist, you know? It needs a face, it needs some eyes. And this is just a language model. It's not meant to generate images, but it does. <laughs> it does do it. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff in this Discord. Uh, and I even asked it to, oh, here's another cat. That's a really good cat. I even asked it to generate an SVG. Uh, I asked it to generate, uh, the logo for chat GPT. It even tried to give me a live preview. Well, that, that doesn't work, but I know what does. So you can take that text and uh, you can put it in an SVG file. And then if you open the SVG file in a viewer like LibreOffice, uh, I mean, yeah, that looks like a logo. Uh, it's not the best logo, but it is a logo. It's just, it's cool that it can do this at all. Just the fact that it's able to generate any sort of images is really interesting. This guy had it made, this guy made it draw the Chilean flag. I don't even know if that is right or not. I don't know what the Chilean flag looks like. Oh, I saw this one earlier. This one looks really cool. This guy had it uh, make a JavaScript animation of a beating heart. I mean, look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see. This guy had it. Whoa, I'm scrolling up. This guy had it draw Steve from Minecraft. I mean, I don't know about you, but that is really, really good. <laughs> I'm I'm being uh, sarcastic, but I mean, it got the idea down now, you know? Like, it doesn't look like Steve from Minecraft, but you can tell, like, it knows what Steve from Minecraft looks like. As a language model, it knows what Steve from Minecraft looks like. That's insane. How does it know that? Like, no... Nowhere in its training data, I almost guarantee nowhere in its training data does it say, you know, Steve from Minecraft looks like this, you know. All it knows is basically that he's blocky. And he's got a, he's got a blue shirt. That's pretty much all it knows. It's interesting, it's like a window into its mind. Uh, this image wasn't created with chat GPT, but the prompt was created and then the prompt that was created from chat gpt was put into stable diffusion which is another ai that generates images um so really if you want to generate like good images then use stable diffusion but the fact that this natural language processing model can generate a stick man is just hilarious okay well um if you want to see more cool stuff i highly recommend you check out their discord uh, the OpenAI Discord, and I'll put it in the description because um, I could scroll through here for hours and you're probably tired of hearing me talk about it. So um, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.